everyone, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Taylor Swift's brand new single, Shake It Off, from her first pop album, 1989, on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you want to learn. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. That's what people say. So can I just start off by saying I absolutely love this song, I love the feel of it, I love her music video for it, and I just think this song is so catchy, and what's even better is that this song is incredibly easy to play. There's no capo, so if you don't have a capo, that's perfect for you, and also there's only four required chords in the entire song, so let me go ahead and jump into what those chords look like. you need to know to play this song so I'll go ahead and show you guys those and then I also have two more optional chords you can learn that I think make the song sound even better so the first chord you need to know is G which looks like this and sounds like this then after that you need to know a minor which looks like this and sounds like this. After that you need to know C, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And then the last chord you need to know is D, which looks like this and sounds like this. So again, those are the required chords you need to know to play the whole song, but here are two more optional chords that I will be playing in my little cover, so if you want to play along with me, we need to know A7 suspended, which looks like this and sounds like this. And then you also need to know C add 9 if you want to, which looks like this and sounds like this. But again, those last two are optional, so if those are hard for you to play, then you don't need to know them at all. And also, awesome, no bar chords. So this is turning out to be quite a simple song to play. So once you've practiced the fingerings for those chords and you have them memorized and can transition between them pretty easily, then let's go ahead and start into some strumming patterns. I'm landing on my feet, and that's what they don't see. The first strumming pattern I wanted to show you is the simplest one, and what's really cool is that you can actually use this for the entire song, so it's really great for super, super beginners. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to put each chord down, and you're just going to take your pick and strum down once for each chord. So we've got G, A minor, C, and you're just going to strum it down once for each chord. If you don't have a pick, that's fine. You can just use your thumb, the side of your thumb. You can do the same thing. So go ahead and take that first strumming pattern and you're just going to play through the entire song using that one down stroke just so you know where to expect all of those chord transitions. So you're going to start off with your G chord and you're going to play that once and then again. I stay out too late. Got nothing in my brain. That's what people say. Mm -hmm. That's what people say. And you kind of just want to take that through the entire rest of the song. Um, obviously, this song is super high for my range. I usually sing a lot lower, so sorry about the singing. But um, yeah, so that's how you're going to play through the first strumming pattern. But of course, you know in her song, it's very upbeat, and the rhythm plays a humongous part in this song because it kind of has that beat throughout the entire thing. So one way we can emulate that with our guitar is we can take the side of our hand, and we're just going to tap right in the middle of your sound hole and it's going to make this percussive sound with your strings. And if you go ahead and figure out a rhythm that you want to play with it, it can make it sound a lot more upbeat. So the rhythm I like to play is just slapping it twice, 
and then coming back and slapping it one more time. And you just want to practice doing this in rhythm after the downbeat. So you've got down, two, three, four. And that's just the rhythm I like to play. I think it's pretty reminiscent of her music. So if you go ahead and add that into your first strumming pattern, we've got something that sounds a little like this. You can go ahead and play your G chord once. And then right afterwards, you want to add in that percussion. And it'll kind of mute the strings and it'll make it sound really more upbeat. So we've got... And you can hear when I'm playing that, I'm strumming the chord down once, doing my little rhythm. And then the next time I won't strum the chord and then I'll just continue the rhythm. So we've got G, nothing. And you're going to do that throughout the whole rest of the song, so let me go ahead and take you through an example of what that sounds like. I stay out too late Got nothing in my brain That's what people say mm -mm. That's what people say mm -mm. And as you can see, sometimes I confuse myself and mess up that rhythm. As long as you keep it going, nobody will be able to tell the difference. And of course, you guys should use whatever rhythm comes to your head and that you think sounds great with your strumming pattern. Now, if this strumming pattern is about all you can handle, that's awesome because you can actually play it throughout the whole entire song. But I think personally, it sounds the best with the verses. So that's where I will be using it in my little cover at the end. All right, so now moving on to strumming pattern two. It's not really a pattern, I just wanted to show it to you because when I play through the song, I do use it. Um, but it's just three down strokes, and I only use it once throughout the entire song, but I just wanted to show you what it sounds like and where I use it. So the place I use this is right after the pre-chorus leading into the chorus. I only do it that very first time, but I just wanted to show you guys what it sounds like because it kind of mimics the rhythm you hear in the song. So, um... It's like I got this music in my mind saying it's gonna be alright. And then right here, I go down, down, down. So I just do it three times down, 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 which leads into the verse. Cause the play is gonna play, 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 and it just keeps going like that. So it's just optional if you want to add that in there as well. That's how you do it. It's just three down strokes, super simple. Um, I only use it once in the song, so if you want to skip it, by all means, go ahead. And let's go ahead and jump into strumming pattern three. So strumming pattern three looks a little something like this. I know that this looks really long and intimidating, but actually it's very simple once you get the rhythm of it down. Uh, it's something that came really naturally to me, so hopefully you guys feel it in your rhythm as well. But um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and show it to you first, and then I'll teach you more in detail how to play it. But I keep cruising, can't stop, won't I really super fast and what you're going to do is play this rhythm through the whole thing once for each chord that you're on and you can hear that I was using this in the pre-chorus it's very upbeat and it kind of makes a change from the um, one downstroke strumming so if you have a little bit of variation in your strumming patterns it makes the guitar a lot more interesting which makes your cover a little bit more interesting so um, let's go ahead and break this down so in the pre-chorus you're going to start with your A minor chord so I have that chord down and you're just going to strum it down, down, up. And then right here you're going to circle back around, up, down, up, circle back around, up, down, up, circle back around, up, down, up. When you practice it slowly, it's a little bit harder to hear the rhythm that it makes. So you want to try to speed it up whenever you get the pattern down. So we've got down, down, up, up, down. pause between each of those groups. So now let's go ahead and add in those chord transitions so you can hear what that sounds like. So start off with your A minor chord. We've got down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, C, G, twice. Now one last thing that I'm 
adding to this strumming pattern is I'm letting the side of my playing hand kind of rest on the strings by the sound hole. That way I can kind of mute the strings a little bit more and it'll give it more of a percussive feel just like her in her song. So we've got down, down, up. Upstroke, it rings a little bit more and then when I do the downstroke it's a little bit more muted and when you start speeding this up it actually gives a really cool texture to the rhythm of the song so we have take a little bit of practice before you can speed it up at that tempo but um, again just practice it slowly make sure you try to hear that rhythm and then as you speed it up you can start adding in that palm mute to make it a little bit more distinct and then soon enough you'll be able to play it with Taylor Swift on her song but I keep to mention is when I was showing you strumming pattern two with the three down strokes like I said earlier I only play that the first time you're leading from the pre-chorus to the chorus uh, the second time you're leading from the pre-chorus to chorus it's a little bit more muted there and uh, you can only hear the rhythm so instead of playing D down three times I just slap the guitar strings three times same same general rhythm if you want to strum it if you want to slap it either way uh, works right there but I just wanted to add that in there and so now we can go ahead and move on to our last fourth strumming pattern so here's the pattern for the fourth strumming pattern and um, as you can see it's kind of reminiscent of strumming pattern three it looks a little bit shorter but that's because we're actually going to be playing this pattern through twice for each chord instead of once so um, let me go ahead and show you what it sounds like first and then I'll teach it to you so I usually play this for the chorus. Cause the play is gonna play detail on how to play this. So if you want to use this for the chorus like I am, go ahead and put your A minor chord down. What we're going to do is you're going to strum it down once, and then this little star asterisk thing that I have means you're going to go ahead and slap your guitar strings just to sort of chop up this rhythm a little bit. So you don't want it to ring very much. So we've got down, slap, down. That's the first half of this, so down, slap. Once you do the down slap down rhythm, your hand should already be down here and we're just going to go back up, down, up. So this is just kind of leading us back into the down. So down, slap, down, up, down, up. And then let's go ahead and add in those chord transitions. So we've got a minor. Again, it kind of gives a contrasting rhythm from the pre-chorus and the verses, so it kind of varies your strumming pattern and it just sounds really cool. So let's go ahead and try to speed that up a little bit. So we have our A minor chord down. Down. again and just speed it up very slowly until you can play it at tempo with Taylor. Cause the play is gonna play, 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 play. Hey, gonna I'm just gonna shake, 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 shake it out, shake it out. Alright, and like I said, because this song is 
is so upbeat and percussive and just all about the rhythm. I don't actually have any picking patterns to show you because I just don't think that it fits with the feel of this song and also because the rhythm in this song is just so predominant throughout the whole thing. I think the actual slapping or however you want to do a rhythm, it's going to be just as important as when you strum. So make sure you try to pick something that you can handle and kind of uh, play around with that so that you can play through the whole song. And one thing I forgot to mention before we go into the cover where we play through the song together, um, the part where she's kind of talking or rapping in the middle, I think that that's best if you just keep your rhythm going throughout that whole section. But if you really wanted to, you could add back in those chord progressions, A minor, C, and G in that order, and you can just play it once and then keep the rhythm going. So you can do it either way. I think it sounds better when you just completely don't play any chords and just keep the rhythm going. So that's what I'll be doing in my little cover here at the end. But of course you can choose to do whatever you think sounds good. So go ahead and practice those strumming patterns and whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and add in those chord transitions with our strumming pattern at tempo to play Shake It Off by Taylor Swift. Come on over baby, we can shake, shake, shake. Yeah! This is Shake It Off by Taylor Swift.
So thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial on this absolutely amazing song by Taylor Swift. And um, please make sure that if you liked it and it helped you, to give it a like down below and also leave a comment leaving any requests you may have for future tutorials. Sorry about my voice. Every single time I sing songs that are too high for me, my voice just kind of gives out a little bit, so I'm probably singing wrong. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much. Um, please make sure to subscribe so you know every single time I upload a new tutorial. Also make sure to check out these playlists I have linked over here for um, more songs. Some are just as easy as this one if you want to click on the basics covers. And then some can go into a little bit more detail if you're slightly more advanced, so that would be my detailed covers. And also feel free to follow me on any of my social media sites because I just love keeping in touch with you guys. and watching and reading about all your success stories. You guys all are awesome. You can all play guitar. You should start with this song because it's so super simple, right? And it's such a great upbeat song. I just love it. And just in case you didn't know, a couple of more episodes of Homemade Harmonies has been uploaded to the Cartoonium Junior channel. So if you want to figure out why I'm dancing like a big dope right now, then go ahead and click anywhere on the screen and I will link it to the newest episode. And it'll also be really useful if you want to learn about rhythm and tempo. So I guess I'll just go ahead and leave this a little while longer so you guys can click. And that's enough dancing. So I think that's it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!